This is Evan, CEO of ManyFastScan, and I will be demonstrating how to create product listings in seconds using the ManyFastScan app for iOS and Android. We will also review some useful features of the web platform. To get started, we will create a manifest group. Think of a manifest group as an auction or a sale group. Inside a manifest group, you can have as many manifests as you would like. You can create a manifest to organize your products by location, consigner, or whatever works best for you. Select the top left menu, choose Manifest Generator, select Manifest Group. In the top right corner, select the plus sign. Here you can name your Manifest Group, add a description, sales dates. Once you've done this, save. The next step is to create a manifest. We will name this manifest Demo Manifest. This is where you scan your items. We will add this to the manifest group we just created. In the Manifest Generator menu, select Manifest. In the top right corner, select the plus sign. Here you can name your manifest, select the manifest group, and don't forget to save. To add an item, we will open our newly created manifest. By default, ManyFastScan is configured to scan UPCs, so to get started, we will click the big plus sign at the bottom of the screen. This will pull up the UPC scanner. Center the UPC inside the scan box. Once the item is scanned, the camera will appear on the screen. This is how you capture actual photos of the item. The app will continue to ask for photos until you click cancel. This assists in easy rapid fire photo capture. Click a photo. This opens the photo editing feature. We can use the AI power of ManyFastScan to remove the background of our photo for a more professional look. Simply tap the Remove Background button at the top of the screen to remove the background. Once the background is removed, tap the Use button to save the photo. We also have the ability to add text, markup, shapes, rotate and crop, and change color settings. Once editing is complete, save the photo. Clicking Next, we move on to the item details. This is where we select and provide condition details, damage description, and finally provide a star rating. By following the process outlined by the details, your listings will be consistent and offer the most important data to your bidders. To see the data collected by ManyFastScan, tap the lot number and select Edit. Here you can see the item title, description, and price have been populated. To see photos collected by ManyFastScan, tap the lot number and select Gallery. You can delete or edit photos here. Here's an example of a listing ManyFastScan generates. You will notice stock photos, user photos, a concise list of item condition, and a full description. If your item does not have a barcode, use ManyFastScan's AI photo recognition to identify the item, provide a description, and get pricing. Tap the camera icon at the top of the screen and the camera on your mobile device will open. Just snap a photo. ManyFastScan will search for the item and provide you a list to review. Choose the product that best reflects your item and tap Add to Manifest. Once the item is added, we can see the data collected by tapping the lot number of the item and clicking Edit. If you have a manifest for your items, we have a great solution. You can upload your manifest and ManyFastScan will generate the product listing for you. Often, manifests provide an LPN, Amazon ASIN or FN SKU, a store SKU, or an item number. On the web, go to Uploaded Manifests on the left menu. Select Upload New Manifest. Here, you will be able to download a sample manifest template to arrange your data accordingly. Name your manifest, upload the CSV file, select a source for reporting purposes. If you want a generic source, choose MFS Engine. Now that you have the manifest uploaded, set the uploaded manifest as a data source. Select Manifest Groups from the left menu. Choose the manifest group that will include the items from your uploaded manifest. At the bottom of the screen, select the uploaded manifest from the dropdown and save. All manifests that get created in this group moving forward will use the uploaded manifest as a data source. 
If you want to add and label each item from your uploaded manifest to a manifest, let's move back to the app and select the three dot button on the bottom of the screen. Choose the hashtag or pound sign. This changes the mode of scanning to item numbers. You will notice that with scanning item numbers, you can choose from any of the major retailers we have in the MFS engine. This is useful if your product is labeled with item numbers instead of UPCs. Select uploaded manifest as your retailer. Just like when we scan UPCs, tap the big plus sign at the bottom of the screen and scan the LPN, store SKU, item number, or FN SKU. MFS Engine will use the data provided in the manifest to collect item title, description, and pricing. If you need to make a manual entry, choose the No UPC option. To access this option, we will tap the three dots at the bottom of the screen next to the plus sign and three additional icons will appear. The icon with the barcode and X on it is the No UPC option. Tap it. Here you will be able to add a title, description, pricing, photos, and all the same condition information we did for the items with the UPC and still get a crisp and consistent listing for your auction site. Additionally, you can look up past items that may have already been added to the system. Find the magnifying glass at the top of the screen, tap it, and enter the name of the item you want to search for. You can simply add it to your manifest. The last option for adding items to a manifest is our item lookup. Find the magnifying glass on the manifest screen and tap. Here you'll be able to search for an item using keywords or model numbers and simply add to your manifest. To add multiples of the same item, tap on the lot number and select add multiples. The first input is how many of the item do you have? The second input is how often do you want the item to appear in your manifest or auction. The last input is the lot number you would like to start with. Select Add Multiples. Here you can see this item was added every 10 lots, 10 times, starting at lot number 10. If you have a group of small items, you can bundle them together. To do this, tap the three dots at the bottom right of the screen and select the box icon. Choose the items you want to bundle. Name the bundle and add a photo. In the description of the bundle, you will see it includes the UPC and title of each item. As you label your lots in your manifest, you have an option to print a label. The label includes the lot number and a QR code unique to the item. We can customize these labels to your standards, either for auctions or retail. The QR code contains the unique information for your item, including all the condition notes you may have input. This makes it easy to add the item to your next manifest if the item did not sell. This is the base functionality of ManyFastScan. We have been working on this product for nearly four years and are continuing to add more functionality to help you get your products to market faster. If there is a feature you feel would benefit your workflow, Please let us know and we can add it to our development roadmap. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out to us at infomanyfastscan.com at or visit our website, manyfastscan.com, to request a one on one demo or discuss your business needs and goals.